Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to share my July favorites because I have plenty starting with the one that's on top of my head right now. I did have the chance to remove this bonnet right before starting this video, but I did want to prove that this was one of my favorites. So I'm going to be removing this product together with you guys because I have been obsessed with this bonnet that TikTok has sent me. I know that you're able to shop it either on TikTok or on my Amazon storefront. I would have to link it and all of the products that I'm going to be talking about moving forward are all going to be linked somewhere in my description box. I originally wanted a pink one of these but that didn't happen and that's fine because the black one honestly matches with everything and it is also reversible so it's red on the inside the only thing that i will say when i'm removing this is that the jump scare is crazy i had already taken off my bonnet this morning but i put it back in a bonnet i just needed my hair out of my face because sometimes i got a little bit too hot but this is exactly what it ends up looking like i usually put my hair in a pineapple before putting on my bonnet because i feel like that's the best method to use versus if you were to just put the bonnet as your hair is it's not gonna look as great and it's probably not gonna give you the results that you want so i highly recommend doing a pineapple before getting started and then after that i'm just gonna remove this section right here gently give it a little shaky shake give it a little pull oh my god look at my hair i'm honestly so surprised at how good my hair looks at the moment i feel like yesterday was not the best wash day and i did it while i was on tiktok live that is so new for me but honestly yesterday i just woke up and i'm like what if i just go on live the hair the hair is looking great but yeah this is one of my favorites especially for the summer it makes my hair wash last and moving further along the product that i used yesterday which is one of my favorite gels ever this is Mayel Coil Sculpting Custard. I honestly love the texture of this product. And it is currently type 4 hair approved. I have 3C4A, especially in this little area right here. It's 4A as you can see. And look at that texture of this product. It is so like slimy. I also feel like it softens my hair, which is something that I try to look for whenever I'm styling. And my favorite thing about this product is that whenever I do try to use it, it definitely like soaks into my hair. As a low porosity girly, you know that's one of my biggest difficulties whenever I'm styling my hair. And this gives me no problem. I do have to pair it with a good leave-in conditioner. And I've tried pairing it with the leave-in conditioner that it brings. It honestly doesn't really mix well for me because I just feel like that leave-in doesn't give me that slippery feeling that I'm looking for. However, when I pair it with the Jane Carter, which I'm actually going to pull up for you right now. Give me one second. When I pair it with another one of my favorites, which is the Jane Carter leave-in conditioner. It's like in a pink bottle right here. This one has been my tried and true for like the past 10 years. I mix these two together and I'm not going to have a bomb wash day. The next set of products that I'm going to be talking about are by Kristen S. And it is honestly my first time giving these products a try. The first time that I gave these products a try were back in June when I first dyed my hair. But um, I did have virgin hair for like the past three years. Which sounds insane to me because I had highlights prior to that. And I went three years just growing out my hair, having virgin hair. My hair was very soft, was very strong, was very long. I had an allergic reaction to the hair dye and it was traumatic to say the least because I didn't know I was allergic to any hair dye until that happened. So that was not that great of an experience. But I did try to find products that were gentle enough but also clarifying my scalp so that I'm able to wash off everything. The Kristen S products are amazing. I've been using the one that's the extra gentle and I also gave the one a try. But if I were you and I have low porosity hair, which only means that it takes a little bit of a hard time for your hair to absorb the moisture a little bit faster, I would go for the extra gentle. I'm obsessed with these and I love the scent. Another Kristen S product that I have been obsessed with is the Velvet Finish Softening Mask. When I was looking for a hair mask, I needed something that will not only take into consideration the fact that I just freshly dyed my hair. And let me tell you, when I first dyed my hair, my hair was so dry. I hate the feeling that hair dye gives to my hair. It almost felt, oh my god, it felt gummy. And I don't know if it was because of the reaction that I had to the hair dye, but I was really scared of my hair falling off, which is one of my biggest fears. This mask just nourishes and smooths your hair. It helps with the tangling. It also instantly softens your hair, which is one of my biggest 
priorities at the moment. I love the way that this one makes me feel. A lot of you most likely don't know, but I do have a iron deficiency and I also suffer from a low B12. I have been trying so hard to find vitamins and supplements that would help me with that because I did try the iron pills, but they do not go well with my stomach at all. And I also feel like a lot of people have the same reaction when it comes to iron pills. So I'm like, you know what? I need to find something else and as I was doing my research, I came across beef liver and here are two of my favorites. I am going to have these linked on my Amazon storefront. Everything that I'm going to be talking about is going to be linked in the description below. I feel like not only did it bring up my energy to a level where I have not experienced in a while, I have been struggling with my iron deficiency ever since COVID happened. I don't know if that was maybe like one of the aftermaths that I got because prior to COVID, I had never suffered from anything. It does contain iron and it helps bring up my levels without giving me like that stomach sensitivity that I've been experiencing with iron pills that my doctors have recommended. All right, so you see how I was raving about the scent that these Kristen S products have? Oh my God, I feel like the TV is being so distracting. But I have discovered that the Bath & Body Works Lost in Santal smells exactly like those products. So every single time that I'm washing my hair, I like to pair it like that scent on my hair and also spray this on my body. And I swear every single person that I smell tells me just how good I smell. And it is because of that product combo. This has been one of my favorites when it comes to the fragrance category. Another one of my favorites that Finery sent me is the Pistachio Please. This has been my go-to fragrance in July thus far. Not only did they send me the body mist, but they also sent me the perfume. This fragrance is such a summer scent, but it could also be used in the fall and in the winter depending on what fragrance you pair it with. It does have a fluffy vanilla note inside of it and my biggest fear was that I was going to be a little bit overwhelmed with that vanilla scent because me and vanilla, we're besties, but we're also a little bit of enemies. So <laughs> I feel like vanilla tends to give me a headache sometimes and I don't love the overwhelming feeling that it gives to me. However, I don't get that from this perfume at all and if anything i love the fluffy vanilla notes that it has if there's anything that i recommend from my monthly favorites from july it would be this fragrance we're finally within the skincare portion of this video and just for you to keep in mind i do have sensitive skin and i also suffer from atopic dermatitis so any product that i recommend are going to be sensitive skin safe they may not necessarily be for all skin types, but I know that they're not gonna cause irritation, so let's start from there. My favorite all-time moisturizer at the moment has gotta be the Cetaphil, what is it called? It says very dry to dry sensitive skin. It's a moisturizing cream that you're able to apply on your face and your body. I have been obsessed with the texture of this product considering that it's thick enough, but it's also not super thick, if that makes sense. I have eczema prone skin, but I don't want something so heavy all the time, especially since I already have my body butter from Soulmade Care, which I created myself. If you want to lock in that moisture for your body, I highly recommend using the Cetaphil and then sealing in the moisture with the Timeless Essence Body Butter from Soulmade Care, which is my small little business. I love this combination, especially because I have been suffering from sensitive skin in the summer. The sun is not my best friend, I'm gonna tell you even if i spend a little bit of time in the sun like i have irritation already everything irritates my skin everything gives me easily a sunburn everything also causes an eczema flare-up so yeah these two have been my ride or die and especially this one on my face this one might be biased but it is a new favorite of mine that i have been loving so much but it is the awakening body scrub by soul made care soul made care is my small business which i created back in 2019 and i have been working on it ever since it was kind of like a business that i started by accident because i wasn't really planning on making it a business <laughs> i was just trying to find the solution for my eczema prone skin because i do as mentioned before suffer a lot from it i was looking for just ingredients and different methods of trying to bring down my sensitivity and my flare-ups and that's when i created my first body butter ever it has been a journey ever since i recently just launched the awakening body scrub it does contain coffee which is one of my favorite notes to awaken the skin hence why it's called the awakening body scrub it also includes turmeric powder which is one of my favorite ingredients to get rid of any hyperpigmentation any dark spots any scarring any sensitivity as well this is just a really good way to awaken your skin even at your skin tone and give your skin that glow that it has been craving but imagine if you pair this with a body butter as well crazy moisture all the time all right we're down to my last three and i feel like i'm talking so much but i'm just enjoying talking about the products that 
I've been loving. So the sunscreen that I have been loving as of lately for about a year now is the Beat the Sun Lightweight Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40. It has beetroot, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E. This one I love because not only does it not give me a gel, well, the, I was about to say a gel cast as if I'm talking about my hair, but it doesn't give me a white cast. And I also feel like it works really well on all skin types. Even if you're oily, I feel like you would benefit from this product. I feel like the moisture is a little bit buildable depending on the moisturizer that you apply prior to using this. So if you apply a thick moisturizer and then you apply this, then you're going to have a little bit of that heavier feeling if you're dry and sensitive. However, if you're a little bit on the oily side, let's say you just cleanse, do a serum or something, and then just apply this as your moisturizer that's perfect as well so that's exactly what i mean by this product could be used on all skin types and it's one of my top favorites it helps a lot with my hyperpigmentation and of course protecting my skin the last one that kind of surprised me but i'm like of course this is gonna work it is a tinted moisturizer which has spf and it has spf 30 by the way and it is a mineral sunscreen i've used foundation before and i feel like it's a little bit thick and heavy on this side but i have tried skin tints and i have tried a tinted spf which is this one and i'm gonna say that i'm very surprised by the results i love the way that it made my skin feel but yeah that's the end of my favorites for july i really hope that you enjoyed watching me talk and talk and talk about all of my monthly favorites for the month of July. All of the products that I've shown to you are gonna be listed on my Amazon storefront. And if they're not listed on my Amazon storefront, it's most likely either from my small business, which is also gonna be linked below in case you wanna shop and support. I'm so happy lately just making the videos that I love and genuinely talking to my girls. Like the fact that I'm going live, that shows a lot. I'm a shy person. And the fact that I'm going live is a huge change for me. But I feel like in this chapter of my life, I no longer have a fear of being seen and I feel like it's showing within my content. So I'm very excited for what's to come and I'll see you guys on my next video. But do not forget to give it a like and let me know if you have any specific products that you would like for me to review here on YouTube. Bye!